Hello friends, um, it's Elena from Oleander and Fig and I wanted to invite you to join me on this haul review from my trip to this beautiful Japanese uh, stationery store out in the northern burbs of Chicago. I feel like I'm just going to slaughter this name and I don't mean to be disrespectful. I think it's Kinokoniya. Um, I would love to be corrected on that. I feel horrible and I don't mean any disrespect by not knowing how to properly pronounce it. Anyway, it is inside of the Mitsuo Marketplace in Arlington Heights. You just go in and it's right to the left as you enter the door. And it's one of my favorite places to go and haunt for fun and interesting uh, stationary wares. So without further ado, um, I always buy one of these bags when I go. They're handy. They're like $5.99. They always have really cute illustrations on them. So that is the first treat. Um, right when I got in the door. <laughs> okay, I'm a grown ass woman and I don't often go in for cutesy, but I mean, it's cute. This is so cute. Anyway, I have a cat named Edgar who looks just like this little guy. And, you know, my traveler's notebook didn't have a charm on it. And, you know, this was there. So, yeah. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. Charm. Um, picked up this pen holder to go on said notebook because I currently do not have a clip for it. So I thought that was cute. Coffee. My daughter, my oldest daughter works at Starbucks, so I'm all like, Starbucks mom. Um, so there. Now, possibly the most uplifting yet horribly devastating message I have ever seen on a notebook, but um, hmm. uh, so it is petite journal. Let simple and old fashioned traditions stay with you while ordinary things have been disappearing in the world. So, you know, keep that in mind as you make your to-do list. Uh, this will go in my little traveler's passport size that I made out of a vintage Louis Vuitton planner. And I'll show that in another video because I think it turned out kind of cool. Anyway, love this paper, by the way. Um, the portfolio uh, notebooks have beautiful, beautiful paper that really is a joy to write on. So there's that. Uh, this is a new one to me. I haven't seen this line before. Maybe it's been out for a while and I've just been under a rock. That is entirely possible, but uh, I recommend this notebook. So, you know, and it says right here that it is a life cube in function notebook for those who are particular about life. And I'm reasonably particular about life. Um, and I like to control the time. So, I mean, win, win, win. This is for me, apparently. Um, I really like the start and deadline for the to-do list. That's why I picked this up. You know, it's like, it's not always meant to be done that day. Sometimes it's a work in progress. So I like that. That'll go on my desk. Um, I always pick up the little sticker pockets for my traveler's notebook whenever I come across them because I, they always end up getting put to use. So that stays in the stash. Same thing with these guys, the rubber bands for the traveler's notebook. I always end up needing one and not having one. So I'm just going to keep a few of these in my desk drawer over here. Airmail. I don't know why. I just have been on this airmail kick lately. Like, I love the old aesthetic of it. I actually picked up these stamps the other day. The post office reissued these stamps. They're, they're forever stamps that uh, use the old airmail design. I don't know how close up I can get, but I just think that's charming. Um, my grandfather was one of the first pilots in the country and my dad's a pilot, my brothers are pilots and I do not fly because I can't even manage to walk down a sidewalk without tripping and falling. So let's just keep me out of the sky, but I do appreciate a good aviation theme. So, uh, these are just so chic Pan Am. I love, love the style. Um, so these are the coordinating envelopes printed in Japan. Um, this has the classic onion skin paper uh, back from when they used to get charged by the ounce to send letters. So they would write on the thinnest, on the very thinnest paper possible. So I am waiting to see what's going to happen with my inks. When I write on this, it might just be a pencil kind of thing, but somebody will be getting 
letter on that. Probably my dad or brother. Um, and then I have been writing a lot of handwritten letters lately. That's probably redundant, but you know, hang with me. Um, and saw this stationery set and I thought that's just darling. You know, it's not too cutesy, like babyish, but, uh, it's, it's adorable. Very pretty, sweet little illustrations, again, with the old airmail vibe. Um, so somebody will be getting a letter on this too. And uh, I'll go through the littles, the, the smalls, as we say in the biz. Um, pencil sharpener for my makeup bag because I, I am not apparently adult enough to keep one in there. I don't know where it goes. My lip liner stays in there, but the sharpener just uh so uh i got another one um erasers i've been really into erasers lately for some reason uh maybe it's because i work in uh digital marketing and web design and i'm just on and plugged in all day so i really enjoy coming home and sitting at a typewriter and using a beautiful pencil and nice paper so i suppose that you know it does make sense that you know, erasers kind of go along with that, that mode. Um, this Milan actually is a refill for a combo eraser and pencil sharpener that I've had for a while that I love. Uh, this Faba uh, Castell kneadable eraser oh, feels really good. If you like a kneadable eraser and you feel like you're like about to break your knuckles using the one that you have, this is really soft. Um, hoping that it remains this pliable after it's been added to plastic. I imagine it might firm up a bit after being handled. I just walked into that one because that's what she said. Anyway, um, then uh, I've been so, so into writing and drawing and stationery that I have been actually watching videos on erasers and reviews. And uh, apparently this eraser gets very, very high marks for, for being very good at its sole intended purpose. So I figured, uh, why not? I'll grab it. Try it. So huge splurge at $1.55. Um, and, you know, I do take my traveler's notebook with me everywhere. I travel a lot for work. And um, instead of buying a bunch of random things wherever I go, I'll like clip out the receipt from the restaurant or the cafe where I'm sitting or maybe a stub from a ticket and stick that in there and write a little note about where I was when I when I came across it. And that's my keepsake. So I got this little guy to stick in my travel bag, which, you know, pretty well made actually. I mean, it's plastic, but I don't know if you can see. It's pretty thick plastic. I think this should hold up pretty well. And this is, let me see if I can find, I pulled it out of the packaging so I didn't have to do that on the camera. So this is actually made by Raimi. So good, I mean, heavy duty spring. It's not, it's no weak little thing. That should hold up pretty well. Um, and then my other new favorite is this Uni uh, by Kurotoga uh, Advanced Pencil. And I have the other one in the aluminum body. But the thing about these is that as you write with them, every time you pick up and put down the lead, it rotates ever so slightly. So you never end up writing with a flat side on a mechanical pencil. So if you're into mechanical pencils, you know what I'm talking about. That's a thing. Um, so very excited about using this pencil because that's what my life is right now. Um, and refills, this is on the softer side uh, for a 0.5 lead. And I like a soft lead. Um, caps for my wooden pencils which i actually have been using more and more lately i've uh gotten into using the black wing pencils so i like to protect the tip and um hmm. <laughs> anyway all right let's just not be 12 year olds here uh so another thing lately is that i have been enjoying watercoloring again i kind of just really, really heavily gotten back into it. And I thought, God, it would be nice to just kind of go back to basics and pick something up that would just walk me through and just kind of enjoy the learning process of it all. So I picked this book up, which is just beautiful. Um, it goes through all of your values and tones and then um, different strokes and, and techniques. 
and uh, along with some drawing tutorials. So really, really pretty. Uh, I can't wait to uh, to dig into this. So uh, Everyday Watercolor by Jenna Rainey. That is going to be put to use tomorrow. And then um, my 17 year old daughter saw this and thought this would be fun for us all to do together. Um, it's a book on Sumi and, you know, it just gives you a good clear step-by-step -step for how to draw all sorts of different figures. And I figured, you know, we don't even have to do it with ink. It could just be, you know, a watercolor. I mean, oh, that's cute. They're bunnies. Why not? You know, draw a circle. Boom, 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 boom. And then there you go. And I think that's the magic of learning to draw figures with uh, kids and, and, you know, even teenagers and even grown ass women um, is just breaking it down by the steps. And I think we'll enjoy using this. So that is my first YouTube video on this channel. And thank you so much for sitting through this almost 12 minutes of me showing you some fun things that I found at one of my favorite stationery stores here in Chicagoland. Uh, I also, like I said, do quite a bit of work restoring and fixing up old typewriters and finding fun stationery goods and, and vintagey things over on my Instagram feed, which is at Oleander and Fig. I hope you'll follow me over there. Um, if you liked this haul, there is a story that uh, has video of the whole walkthrough of the store. So maybe I'll see you over there. Give me a like, a follow, ring the bell, and I promise there'll be more goodness like this if this is your thing. Uh, if not, it's been nice. Thanks. See you later. Thanks. Bye.